Hi there guys, Sean here from Five Star Marine with Mr. Jay. Hello, I'm Jay. Oh, Jay. There Jay, I am. Jay, we're doing it handheld today. I know, well. <laughs> we're invested in all this equipment. <laughs> and we just, we've put it away and we said it's too hard. Doesn't matter about the equipment, Sean. Let's just tell the people what's happening. Rightio, so let's give you a quick update. Phuket is getting a lot of rain overnight. Uh, actually, the last few days, Jay. Yep, last couple of days. Um, and what happened is, uh, if you follow us on social media, you'll know that in Carter there was a landslide and extensive flooding with uh, 203 houses damaged, um, 13 lives lost, which is Sadly. devastating to hear. Um, and what we've done on our side is we've responded, um, and so have a lot of the hotels on the island, plus a lot of other businesses have been dropping stuff to our office all day, every day. Thank you very much for that. Um, but we wanted to quickly update you. Today we're off, Jay, to yes. deliver some more Sorry. stuff to Kata. Yes, we are. Um, but also overnight there was another mudslide which affected nine houses in Phuket town. Extensive flooding in both Rawai and also in the Chantelay area. And there's also a, a flash flooding in certain little areas as well where it's low levels and stuff. So that's yeah. happening all the time as well. I think what we'd like to say, people are asking us, is it still safe to come to Phuket? Certainly it is, definitely. Um, a lot of the flooding is flash flooding as Jay says yep. and it clears within an hour or two. Yeah, it disperses very quickly, the and, flash flooding parts. And those areas that have uh, additional flooding or landslides, these are all residential rural areas. They're not areas is where traditionally tourists would stay. No, absolutely. Um, not saying that it doesn't affect the community. It certainly does, and the community needs your support. And you can do that by being uh, someone who keeps their, their holiday and visits Phuket. Absolutely. Um, we're still operating tours. Um, even today, you can see it's not raining right now. Actually, if I turn this way, sun's starting to break through as well. It's doing all right today. It's clearing up. It was raining at 5.30 this morning when I was out, but now it's starting to ease off. And they, like I said, I drove the kids to school absolutely fine getting them to school so there's no major major issues on the major roads yeah and we've been operating nearly every day um, because during the days actually it's not raining that much during the days out on no. tour it's more evening rain we're getting at the moment it's all kicking off down there Sean isn't it yeah it's God. a lot of people out there our entire staff are mobilized today to load up trucks it looks like we've got eight or nine trucks heading out today um, yeah. So Jay, uh, yes. you you were in Kata at the uh, landslide support centre. Yep, I went down there at the weekend. So I was down there on Saturday and Sunday taking lots of supplies down there. It's an amazing, the setup they've got down there is fantastic and they're doing a great job. The Thai government and all the relevant agencies, is that the right yes. way to say it? They're doing a fantastic job and they've set this whole place up where you go and drop everything off and then the Thai army and the Navy are coming and they're taking it and they're going up to help up to the landslide. It's a great, they, they, they're doing brilliantly. Uh, oh, you got your red cross on the red cross are down there as well lovely uh, and they're looking after all the people so the Phuket, it's going well. Phuket as an island and the Phuket government are amazing yeah. during these kind of areas but not areas. just that Sean, it's a community yes the community has your arm uh, Sean's holding this for his arm he's yes. a tripod today uh, the community have all come together and there's certain members of the community have done amazing stuff and there's people that are helping out even little things like taxi drivers turning up with just one or two bags of food that they got from the local supplier. That's brilliant. Yeah, no, I think on our side, let's do some shout outs. Uh, yes. Firstly, to Tim it. Newton from TNT. Thank you, Tim. Uh, who did a, an extensive live coverage of this for us. Uh, Kun Boon from Boat Katana, oh. Phuket Boat Lagoon. Kun Boon, you're amazing. Uh, Phuket amazing. Hotels Association yes. with all the hotels coming online. Marriott rang this morning. Big, big Marriott Love drive. Marriott. Rotary. I went out with Rotary buying stuff on Sunday morning. At Shout Mac out Pro to Kabibi, one of our regular guests who's also the president of Rotary. You're doing an amazing job. Loads of Pullman Hotel, the uh, Amari, Amari Hotel. Hotel. There's uh, loads of people. Also, all the locals yep. who have just been dropping, rocking up to our office, dropping stuff off. Thank you, Chantel, because I went to her yesterday to pick up a load of clothes yeah. and there's uh, the Finway school dropped off some clothes do, do know UWC though, that, as well do know though the government is asking that you don't just turn up to Kata please coordinate your giving through an agency like us like the Red Cross so that they don't just have thousands of people turning up to the site and the good thing is if you message us you can either comment below or message us on our social media we can tell you what's needed because sometimes there's lots of supplies that aren't needed that it's not, not a bad thing because we can store those but if you let us know what's what or if you ask us we can tell you exactly what's needed and then we can take it there and our office is open from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. at Herald Phuket Boat Lagoon and you can drop stuff off any time between those days. Yeah, and I'd like to add to that, uh, what are we expecting the coming days? We're filming this today, Wednesday, what's the date today? 20 something? I don't know, yeah. Sean, 27. We're filming a Wednesday, we're expecting rain today, we're expecting rain on Thursday, but we do see a clearing condition on Friday. Yes. Um, so we expect 
at least two more days of emergency response support with Friday, Saturday, Sunday looking like it's clearing. And look, fingers crossed with the weather forecast, sometimes it's a day ahead, so hopefully we might only get today weather, but who knows? We'll keep yes. you updated, but and fingers it, crossed. And again, like it, it is safe here, the roads are open, people I'm sorry, ask me. Just, just pan around, look what's going on behind you, Sean. Oh my There's people gosh, yes. putting mattresses downstairs and stuff, amazing. Um, it, it, I did come from the airport myself yesterday, all airport roads are clear, the traffic actually isn't bad coming from the no. airport. I was expecting it to be an hour and a half and it was less than 20 minutes. Yep. Um, so, as I said, a lot of the affected area are residential, rural areas that are not tourist zones. Yes, Carter was affected, yes, that is a tourist zone, but the government are amazing. Within 48 hours, they cleared all the roads oh, there and brilliant. got traffic restored. There's backhoes everywhere, there's all diggers and stuff, it's really cool, they're clearing everything, it's yeah, fantastic. A big message that TAT and the Phuket government, including the government, want to get out is that an island like us survives and thrives on tourism so please um, everything that they are doing at the moment is to make sure that tourism remains open that there is uh, easy access for tourists to both the airport and their hotels and like I said this morning I did the school run and that's at all tourists it's absolutely fine you can get around the island radio Jay what should they do if they want to support us uh, just look below and you can uh, comment and spread the word spread the love spread this video and let everyone know about what's going on that's it guys, Sean and Jay here from Five Star Marine.